I'm here with John Cochran at the Halstead Amphitheater where he is the promoter and producer of Live at Five. Yes. And we are ready to jump back in now that it's 2021, a lot has changed. Yes, a lot has changed. Obviously 2020 was pretty rough on the music industry, so um, Live at Five did have to cancel what I thought was our best series to date. Coming into 2021, since we'd had to change some things, the college is allowing us to still use the space, which is great of them to do, but they've kind of taken a financial hands-off approach. So um, uh, the Friends of the Halstead, which is a group that helped organize and Live at Five to begin with and bring me on board, is now taken over. We're actually a 501c3 now, and um, which is one of the reasons we're having to sell tickets and go to a ticket-based platform. And speaking of tickets, you already have an incredible response from the community for the first few shows. Yeah, I was pretty shocked at how quickly uh, the first two events sold out within, I think, seven to ten days. Our first event is on Friday, April 30th, which is Arts and Crafts Weekend. The well-known local outlaw country band, the Red Clay Strays, with an opening set by the Royal Horses, which is a great Americana folk blues power trio from Mississippi. And then May 14th, we have Red and the Revelers, a Mobile-based Swamp Soul band, and the Tip Tops, which everybody knows. You don't like Motown music. I don't know what's up with you, but you should like Motown music. <laughs> and you should be here. Tip Tops is always They're great. They're incredible. And so those two are, are sold out. Friday, May 28th, we have Roman Street, who is a band that was actually going to do our kickoff show in 2020. It was going to be an album release, so I felt so bad for them. But they'll be back. And then the Marlowe Boys. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, June 11th, we have Grace and Caps, who everybody knows and loves. And then we have a group called the Backseat Drivers that I'll be playing with, and we, we will be playing Eric Clapton's Layla and other Assorted Love Songs album. Nice. Yeah. And so you've got this fledgling Live at Five that is probably going to continue to grow. It is, you know, and that's another great thing about Live at Five being under the Friends of the Halstead now is it does give me more leverage in terms of decision making. We have 65,000 square feet out here, and we could technically socially distance somewhere between 3,500 and 4,200. Me being trying to be conservative about space, I said, let's do 1,000 where everybody can get a good seat and be comfortable. Right. That being said, once the COVID restrictions get loosened more, I can fit 3,000 to 5,000 people out here. If we can continue to sell $10 tickets, I can get much bigger acts. Okay, John, so you wear many hats or in several roles, one of which is a musician yourself. Yes. So how has 2020 and COVID impacted you and the music scene? I think that it really showed a lot of us how much this kind of stuff means to us. And not only for the musician to get to play for an audience, but also for the audience to get to, to interact with live music. As a musician, I know that I feed off the crowd. I've been missing my people. Well, and the audience misses it. So I know. It's, you know, yeah. it is, it's both the musicians and the audience. Music, music is certainly, for me, a very spiritual experience. So when I look out here and everybody's allow, able to come out here and kind of like leave all your worries at the gate and sit down and hang out and have a good time, I think we all are desperately in need of that after 2020. So one of the changes now, John, is that Live at Five, it's own standalone charitable organization? Yes, we wanted to make it a, a charitable event and so we are starting a, a memorial fund for one of the greatest musicians to ever come through Mobile and a very dear friend of mine, um, the brother of the drummer for the Red Clay Strays, a, a guy named Jacob Hall, who passed away last year. We have decided to start the Jacob Hall Memorial Music Grant and basically we're going to have kids in the community or any musician in need in the community write a letter and the Hall family and I will read them and talk about them and then um, we're going to give them a grant to buy a musical instrument. I love that. Yeah, so or, or whatever they need musically too. That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. And in addition to your ticket sales, you have sponsors for Live at Five also? It's really how we were able to get it back together. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't. this wouldn't be a thing. We have Guthrie's of Fairhope. Fairhope Furniture Consignment's been a, a longtime sponsor. Kobe Subaru has been a longtime sponsor. And Manti's Antique Club, Center State Bank, mm -hmm. and then Mobile Bay Realty. And if people want to know more about the musical lineup, the Live at Five, and you, how did they find out more information? We have a website, liveat5fairhope.com. 
and then we have a Facebook page, Live at Five Concert Series, Fairhope. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have a music page called John Cockham Music. I'm on Facebook, and you can connect to us through there. And if you want John's personal cell phone number, just text me or call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can call him directly. You can call me directly. He would love that. Check out the website, check out Facebook, and we look forward to seeing you here at the Halstead Amphitheater for Live at Five. Thanks, John. Thank you.